What's good y'all, it's the White Shadow Norway back again with another vlog for you. Before I start this vlog, I would like to say rest in power and rest in peace to my dear mom who died recently at the tender age of 71 after just a week's illness. She died suddenly and um, it was a big shock and um, the biggest shock I've ever had in my life and um, she was the best person I've ever known and uh, I will love you and miss you forever every moment of my life mom so please a few seconds of silence for my mom before we start this video yes new vlog new adventures new condo new estate by now I've inherited the family estate and so I moved in at what used to be my grandmother's old apartment, which is the biggest one around here. So, you know, there's a lot of responsibilities that comes with that. Um, but a lot of options and a lot of possibilities as well. So I'm glad I moved in here. I've um, made it me, as you can see. Um, I made a DJ booth of like half the living room that you're watching right now. So I got my turntables, I got my monitors for the Serato and everything, so let's step inside the booth. Here I got my SP-1200 classic hip-hop sampler number one and all the beats I made on discs. I'm gonna be selling it later. Um, they usually charge around six to seven thousand dollars for it, so it'll be in that range. But if you're interested in that, get at me, because I will be selling it. This is a uh, dope... Uh, pick that a friend of mine made um, he's great at artwork and stuff that's of me DJing and I'm just showing you the records a little here I got a lot of p-funk in this stack over here we got the return of Captain Sky a classic uh, funk album from a classic funk artist here we got uh, some old 12 inches that's Herb Albert's uh, rise uh, was sampled by Biggie Smalls Notorious B.I.G. for hypnotize of course I'm just digging a crates band McCoy the Hustle. That was the first disco song I've, I ever heard. Because this vlog is going to be a lot about disco. So we're moving down here from the top 20 disco import show on Radio Lux with Tony Prince. Uh, this is the best 12 inch singles and albums that were charted there from like 1980 to uh, roughly 1983 84. Big classics in there. Keep it moving. Let's see what more we got in here. We got over here, we got a box that says exclusive inside. I'm going to show you later but what's inside. But it's uh, the vinyls I've been featured on and done scratches and produced and stuff like that for artists and my solo joints. This is a box of uh, house music classics. Here we got a bit of Masters of Work or Ken Lu, what a sensation. See what more we got. I'm going to show you more later on this one too. But uh, what's this is an old one on cutting records. Yeah, they used to have the old uh, Todd Terry productions and stuff on there. So a lot of house music goodies in there. Um, let me see what I got in this crate. I think it's Italian Euro Disco. Yeah, Mike Marine, classic there, great one. Here I got some P-Funk 12-inch singles. A uh, great cover to this one, Bootsilla 12 inch by uh, Bootsy's rubber band, Bootsy Collins of the P-Funk Mob. Uh, let me see if I got some of the old Electro albums over here, I think. Yeah, I think this is the first one. Bought it when it was brand new from Photocopy Records. They used to have that special import sticker on uh, their imported records back in the days. So a uh, great series of Electro Funk, uh, the Electro albums on Street Sounds Records. Uh, I got some rare 45s over here. Won't get into that now. Let me get some power. E.T. Phone Home. Back in time to the 80s, y'all. But further back because I'm going to talk about my early days as a DJ. So first, let me find like the first uh, disco album I ever had. Let me see if I can dig in the crates here and uh, pick that one. Find it. Yep. Let me do some digging for you and um, we'll see if I can find that. I think it's right here. Uh, there it is. Boney M's debut album, Take the Heat of Me, real great funky disco album from 1976, that one. I'll pull it out and show you the cover, it's long gone, I used to cut them out and, you know, put them up on my walls and stuff like that, so, uh, still a great disco album there from uh, Boney M, and uh, I had Love for Sale, the follow-up on tape, used to buy cassettes too back in the days, so or get them from my dad, you know, and he bought me this one one time when I was sick and I didn't even know what had been released, and Night Flight to Venus, classic, spacey disco from Boney M there. 
with the great title track. This was one of the first 12 inch singles I had to Stars on 45. I used to uh, use two copies like one of the album and that 12 inch there to double it up and, uh, and mix it up when I started DJing school parties in 1978. That was another early 12 inch there by Black Ivory Mainline and this one of course Jingo Wakandito on Salso legendary record that's when I understood what it could be done to a 12 inch single as far as extending parts of a song and you know lots of drums and everything and my dad he got me into disco He's, he was a musician he used to practice his guitar and sing it in this very room that I'm showing you now and um, I used to be with him and uh, he had bought this uh, tape with a uh, disco on it in like 1975 and he played it for me and I got hooked instantly and got into disco right away and one of my early favorite artists was as I'm showing you now Donna Summer uh, with the porn disco classic Love to Love You Baby and the great club classic Spring Affair on that one Once Upon a Time album and her live album. Uh, she was my first love man. I was a kid but I was literally in love with Donna Summer. She was so hot too, hence the name Summer of course. Loads of disco classics on those albums. This one that I'm gonna pick now is uh, probably the introduction to most people when it came to disco. The cover's gone again because, you know, I cut it out, hang it up on my wall, make mixtapes, put parts of the cover on it. But it is for the infamous classic John Travolta badass movie Saturday Night Fever, the soundtrack to that one. Most people's introduction to disco. That could be heard from windows of classrooms at my local school from class parties for years, probably. Along with this one, another great disco movie called Thank God It's uh, Friday. Let me see if I can uh, pull it out here. Yeah, look at um, the DJ over there. Of course, you know, I wanted to be a DJ when my dad told me about disco and nightclubs and DJs when I was like seven years old. Uh, I knew what I was going to do with my life. I knew I was going to become a DJ and, uh, you know, I started listening to Radio Luxembourg. Here we got uh, Bobby Speed or, you know, the legendary New York City DJ, Bobby DJ Gettodaro, really. Um, cool movie, great uh, triple vinyl soundtrack there, but also a 12-inch by Donna Summer. And yeah, my, my dad told me about DJing and stuff, and he also used to buy me soundtracks because I was too young to get in at the movies. So this is some of the soundtracks he used to buy me. This I got from my uh, cousin, though, man. Uh, that was a great day. I still remember it. Uh, early James Bond, Bond soundtracks there with my favorite James Bond, Roger Moore, Spy Love Me and Live and Let Die and stuff like that, and For Your Eyes Only. This is another disco-style movie, Car Wash featuring Rose Royce and The Deep that's also got Donna Summer on it on the title track and uh, John Barry who did the James Bonds too. So let me see, uh, let me go through some more of the albums we used to play back in the days. Um, this stack here and the other stack with Donna Summer albums and a box of 45s was all the records we used to have in the early days when I used to play at class and school parties and stuff like that uh, at the local community house. We had a disco from 1980 to 82 where I used to play once every fortnight with a friend of mine and uh, we used to play stuff like this, Chick, Le Freak, Freak Out, you know, though I Want Your Love was always my favorite and Chick Chair. And then you had good times, of course, with uh, Chick. We used to have two copies of that one too and try to mix it up. With, but, you know, I belt-trapped turntables so you can really do that much with it. And I didn't know that much yet. I was a rookie DJ back then in the late 70s. And, of course, uh, Chick's Good Times turned into Rapper's Delight by Sugar Hill Gang, the first hip-hop record. And this was the first hip-hop album I owned, the first Sugar Hill Gang album. If you watch my vlog video number one, I go through the first hip-hop records that I had but for now it's all about disco in this one so let me see if I can find some more gems to finish it up this is a badass 12 inch called Get Tough by Claire it's absolutely awesome from 1980 also when I used to play a lot at school parties and stuff like that let me dig a little more in those albums back there and see what I find here let me see let me see let me see you might have heard about this guy perhaps with the smash, don't stop till you get enough. Yes, it's Michael Jackson's Off The Wall album, his best album in my opinion, though Thriller is his most popular, of course, but Off The Wall is the great disco album for Michael Jackson. Also this one, Brothers Johnson, with the classic Stomp, that's big on dance floors now even. I always like the title track, Light Up The Night, better than Stomp though, but it's a classic, you know, it's great. And talk about a masterpiece funky disco album there from super producer Quincy Jones and the album called The Dude. Uh, I need more power, I think. <laughs> E.T. Phone Home. And it's time to go home because it's time to say peace. I hope you enjoyed this vlog of disco. I'm the White Shadow Norway and I'm out of here on the DJ Tip. Peace.